All right, it's August 1st, I believe. So I'm just getting back to it. I've been gone, gone for another week. That time, this time was for work, so I'm back to get this done. All right, no more off there. It looks like right there I got to take some off. It looks like it's kind of it's flat and it needs to be uh, you know curved that way because I push this side down that comes up but I should be able to take care of that once I get it tack welded in and start hammering it where I need it. That's, uh, that is much better. All right, I got this magnet. I put a bolt through. This is one of those you hook on a stick and you're able to pick up nails in your yard after you did a roof job probably or whatever else you maybe lost. But this has 95 pounds of pull, I guess, on it. So I'm going to hook this on and probably start welding, remove the tape and start welding down here. All right, let's go down to the bottom then. There, I got it in place. I tack welded down here. And I'll be able to move, push, pull, wherever it takes, hammer it. Ouch, that's hot. Until I get it in place. go it's just a little bit at a time you may have to pry up you may have to push down like right there get that push tacked in then this side could be hammered down that'll look pretty good I think measurements of this spot but it doesn't necessarily mean you know you cut it out to those measurements it's going to fit you know this bite part might be on an angle coming down and this one might be on an angle coming up so I thought you know it'd be better that I just maybe put a piece of paper over it and rub the edges that would give me A better idea. Ugh. There, let's try that. 
cut that out and we'll see how it works. So yeah, that worked much better, you know, because I could lay my piece of paper on a straight edge of the flat, straight edge of the metal, and then I just outlined it, you know. And there I go. I got this piece. And where's my magnets? I need them. Not that I can't lose it. This is over the transmission, so I can get it if I drop it, but this is a lot easier to hold. So, yeah, I'm like extra big. A little large on all sides. So, there we go. I'll just trim them down. Get it to fit. My black line really shouldn't even be showing. Plus, this piece is going to need a curve bent in it. I don't know if I can do it right here. Yeah, I got to get that bend in it somewhere. All right, I'm back. I went, went outside. I had a four-inch pipe, and I just set it on the outside and hammered it around. So uh, it's a little too steep, but at least you can push it, you know, to, to straighten it out a little. You know, that's kind of better. A little better. A little high in the center, but that should work. For now. So I figured the best thing on this one is to probably start high, weld up top, and work my way down. I'm kind of happy with that so far, at least up here. I can put some welds up here and then I can just bend it as I go. Ugh. trying to hold the metal on the floor pan down tight against but uh, it otherwise you don't get a good weld it, it won't stick so I was trying to see clamp yeah I put a board here and then I put this 2x4 up here but it just didn't have a long and long enough reach out this big C clamp it's an 8 inch 8 inch this way Only probably four that way but so then I thought well I had to get something this is about the only thing I could find that had the reach so I put this board underneath so I don't bend up my uh, rocker panel and then I put a 2 by 4 up here to push down there, let's see Even then, it still isn't touching, so I'll take my hammer and tap it down. What a I'm afraid to let it go. So that's the way I kind of been doing the spot welds along here. Now over here, I'm not sure. Somehow I'm gonna have to push this down. See, I can see it when I push it down. If 
I might have to somehow push it down. I might have to have somebody over here to put all their weight on it. Push it down so I can uh, uh, spot weld that. I got a lot of these to go and I got this over here to finish up. So that's what I do. Keep working this, keep doing these. I want to get started on the other side. Alright, I thought I'd take a measurement, so I'm going from that joint up there and I'm coming all the way back to this. It looks like I'm 34, 34 and uh you know, three eighths, probably center on that plug. that frame undercoating or frame coating inside anyhow.
So what I'm thinking is I could probably now cut this section out, then drill out these spot welds, get that all taken off, but then repair my inner rocker panel wherever it needs it. Because I think right here is a spot that needs it. Yes, I know right there is a spot that needs it. So I'll probably repatch all this because this part got patched earlier. So I'll replace all of this probably. Alright, I laid the floor pan, the floor pan on this side in here, but you know this isn't cleared out, so it held it up. So my mark's way up here, but I'm not cutting there. I'm definitely cutting down along here. I'm gonna leave a lot of extra up here for right now. Learn from your learn from the one before. One thing I noticed after I started cutting, this part of the hump went this way a little bit. So, tonight, this is something to remember. Remember, I keep all my sheet metal for now, just so I can maybe take measurement points if I have to. If I have to, I can set it kind of back in here. There, all I gotta do is undo the spot welds along here. And this thing. So, I hate removing spot welds, but let me get a drill. Actually, I have to get my wire brush and sand this paint off so I can see where the spot welds are at. So yeah, I can see one there, 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 one 
one there, one there, one there, one there. So that's where I'll start. See how bent up it is. That's the reason why you want to make sure you got your new panel in the right spot because you had to tear it up. You had to get the spot belt out of, off of it. Okay. We're 19 and a half from here to here, I believe. And then from the center of this hole, 19 and 3 16 to the edge here. And then from the edge of this thing to right here is 18 inches. So, what it is, what this piece is, is the inner rocker panel comes along here and overlaps on this part of the inner rocker panel. So, I had already replaced this piece. My weld is about right here. So, I'll probably cut there, cut across here. Oh, it must go all the way over here and then of course this piece should come off I might have to get once I cut across there that's what I'm thinking and then this I'll have to cut that off and weld it back on the new one oh and then there's spot welds along here so but they're hooked these spot welds are hooked to my rocker panel, which is coming off anyhow. So now my only thing is I'm a little worried. I mean, I've got it on jack stands, but I'm just a little worried if I'm going to make this section a little weak. I wasn't too worried over on that side. I don't know how else to... I can't put a... I could put a 2x4 and put some jacks underneath here. I don't think they'll get in my way. Yeah, that's what I might do. I just want to make note this side the other side might have been pretty rusty or I really tore it up but this time I'm being more careful on uh, taking it apart so I don't have to replace that piece the other thing is 
I've forgotten all about this. This part here is the really hard part, and I think I did talk about it on the other side. But you got this piece that comes down. You've got, let's see, this piece is the door jam. This piece is part of the body, I guess. I think that piece is the rocker panel, and this piece here is the another part of the inner rocker panel. So all three of them are smushed together there and spot welded. So I got to get all of them apart along there. Alright, just another little tidbit. This is the rocker, bottom of the rocker panel. Peeled back down, so we're looking up and you see that little tab right there? That goes, that goes that way and then bends up and it comes right here. This is the tab that's going down and bending. So, that's the part that really makes it hard. I think I got it on the other side because I knew my quarter panel was going and I had a great big hole there that I could uh, get it loose. Hardest part of getting the rocker panel in and has to be the back rear quarter panel area. I mean, I've got it loose. It wasn't until I drilled more spot holes on this uh, door jam. I mean you got spot welds, spot welds just all over. So I'm almost loose. It might be that bracket still. It's a tough spot. I almost got this panel ready to be welded in. I did take that front lip and I pounded it down a little bit so I could come that way a little bit because I wanted this hole here to line up in the center. And then the other thing, since I screwed up on my other hole over there, I gotta remember I gotta re-drill this hole somewhere over here. I thought I'd put a dot where the center of this hole is and then I'll measure from that dot to this hole where it is and I'll be able to go from the center here and mark where I gotta drill a hole the right place and not weld it shut but uh, I've been underneath and put my dots where I had dots underneath over here I put the dots over here underneath measure from the floor up that's 20 and a sixteenth let me see yeah over here 20 and sixteenth 20 and sixteenth over here 20 and a sixteenth over here 11, uh, 19 and 11, 6, 15 sixteenths. Yeah. 19, 15 sixteenths. So that's, this part might be a little low by an eighth of an inch, but otherwise not bad. So I, not this line, but the one right along here is where I'm going to cut, I think. And of course my saw cut will take out an eighth of an inch, which then will probably make me raise this up a little bit to weld it. But I do believe I'm ready to cut that right along there. Now on back here, this one doesn't line up with that. But that's alright. You know, I wasn't thinking it was going to line up. This is right up in there where it should be. Oh, and another thing. Look at that. There's that curve right up in there. And this, this was... This was a way, and now it's, if I push it over, it's close to being right up in there. So, I am happy. This one went in much easier. I'm happy where it's sitting. Well, I cut it. Now, that's up away from there, so if you, you could push that up, and I'd get a little game. But, you know, I was wanted to cut below my mark. Some places I did, but look at my gap I still got. Some of it may come up a little bit. My gap may not be too bad. Yeah, but underneath, 
underneath. Look at that! It's touching. Well, that side it isn't. So there's something not right with this side, I think. There it is. I'm done. Well, <laughs> I'm done for this video for now. You know, I still have some welds I gotta make look a little better, I think. I also have these two brackets I gotta make. This two. Gotta make two of these, and then I gotta still gotta get this one welded in underneath over on this side, I think. Yeah. So I still have that to do. And I still got to go underneath and tack weld this to that other back panel there. And I had that gap over there. I still got to fix that somehow. Not sure what I'm doing, going to do there. Well, the other thing is with these plugs, like those plugs that were underneath that panel, the plugs I got don't fit. They don't work. I went ahead and, you know, I couldn't wait to get them. So I think what I'll do is when I get one that fits that hole, I'll just take silicone uh, caulking like a silicone and then stick it up there and let it, let it dry. It'll be waterproof at least. Keeps the water out. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Uh, if I go to the trunk, i got to order my, the, all the pans for the trunk. That needs like, about three of them, I think, that I got to get. Or if I come to the, if I come up to the uh, firewall, then I got to take the engine out, take the hood off, take the engine out, and there's so. And, and really, I'd have to take the car outside to do all that. And right now, it's starting to get cold here. Keep working my way to the back, get the frame repaired. It's terrible back there. Alright, so that's it for floor pans. I hope I hope this video helps. Uh, maybe I should have went with all one. It should it would have been a lot easier, but you know, you'd have to support weld supports across to keep your car square and then and, and it might have been a lot easier to do. It would have took away all this welding that I had to done. It would have just been spot welding around the outside of it. Oh well. And I also have a whole bunch of cleaning to do. I just had to clean these out and so I could paint them, prime them. But underneath this car and everything all over the place is dusty. Well, so I got a lot of cleaning also to do. I'm going to put this door back on for, for right now. And yeah, I have this thing here to take care of. I don't know if yeah, it's in the video. The door jam to clean up. And I'm really waiting to do the... Uh, rear quarter panels. I'm pooped. Tired. It's cold outside also. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Bye.